relaxation oscillator using operation amplifier this is the circuit diagram and we are going to design the circuit for a uh, frequency of 1 kilohertz at the output and after the design we got r1 equal to 10 kilo r2 equal to 11.6 kilo r equal to 5 kilo and capacitance of the capacitor we got 0.1 microfarad and this will realize this in the in a software called spice and and we are just i am clicking on the shortcut of the spice you can see the cursor double click here and that way another windows has come i am going to the file and go for a new go and then and click on the project after clicking on the project you give the name some meaningful name i am giving ro relaxation oscillator ro and one i am giving after that you can see that the analog and or mixed a slash d has been selected and you can see that location i have already been created a one, one folder pp and that is already been selected if you have a different folder and you can you can select with the browse and after that doing this you go you click on the ok after clicking ok you can see another window is coming and you have to click the create a blank project i am clicking on the blank project now i am clicking on ok after that this drawing windows has come and then you come to this in the right hand side you can some symbols are displayed here you come to the next symbol and you place the cursor here and you can see the place parts you, you click on that after that uh, you then another window has come place parts window has come then you click on the uh, in the in this place i click here and then type mu a741 mu a741 it is already been displayed on the window that is every parts will be displayed okay. and then it is it is the correct one then i am clicking ok and you can see along with the cursor this operation amplifier is coming i click on left click after left click again it is coming with the cursor another one i don't want another one therefore i am right clicking and you see there is a and mode is showing therefore and mode i click on the and mode and then this is been then i then i require three resistances and now again i place uh, the parts i click here and then i just type r therefore resistance you can see the windows register is showing i just click it okay and therefore three resistances one is here i just wire the resistance to connect it. You, you click on that and another resistance is in the up i just i click it here and fourth resistance i don't require therefore i right click and add mode therefore this is the resistance i have taken and i require one capacitor just you type c and capacitor will be selected and just one capacitor is required i just i uh, keep it the capacitor here and then right click and then end mode and then you require again you again you again then you select and then you require a two uh, dc power supply to connect to the seven and four therefore i write v d c therefore you can see that this is the is power supply is okay and then it is coming and therefore one for a fourth another for a seven i uh, then i just i just right click and mode and then i have to change the uh, in that scenario only you change the values now for i know that we are in the hardware we have given a 12 volt we have connected here also will give 12 volt therefore here i change this to value just on the value you double click and change the value to 12 volt you can change the value to 12 volt put okay again you showing that zero v dc is in dc is display you just double click on that part and after that you just uh, 12 volt you just type 12 volt and remaining things let it be and okay and then we have to whatever the resistance value we are taking let's say 1k is showing it is displaying 1k in that we require 10k i am just double, uh, double clicking after that you make it one you make it to 10 therefore and then this is value is changed and another way i require 11.6 i i type 11.6 and that is also resistance over and you 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 again double click on that that i require a 5k therefore i just type 5 and then is okay then capacitance value capacitance of 0.1 microfarad therefore you can type 0 0.1 in micro you cannot type type uf u you type f you type and therefore this is also okay 
and that all the things I brought up. And another thing you can see, whatever the drawing I have drawn here, drawing I have drawn here for the hardware, you can see the non-inverting terminal is down. An inverting terminal 2 is on the up. Therefore, exactly to match with the hardware, whatever we did the hardware, I, I just rotate this. This is the rotation. I just click on the operation amplifier, then I right click and then mirror vertically. You can see one option is there, mirror vertically. You click it on the mirror vertically and you can see now 7S, uh, uh, that this is when it, uh, 7S come down and also you can see the positive is down. That means non-inverting and pin number 3 is the down. Therefore, it will be convenient for us the, to draw ag exactly similar to that of the hardware. That is why we, we have, I have rotated it. Now is the, is the time to connect it. Now you have seen that the 7 has to be connected to the VCC. Just you click on the uh, that VDC and drag it, drag it to the 7 and you connect. And you can see the red circle is showing that means it is the proper connections. You just leave the cur leave the cursor, and then you can see that and that here also it is the negative terminal has to be connected to the 4. Never give minus 12. Therefore, only the negative terminal for minus VCC negative terminal to be connected to. Then you can come to the and then you come to the grounding. Grounding you can see in the right hand side a G and D is written here. You can find a G and D place ground, and that you left click it and this uh, this window appear place ground. You can go to zero, zero volt. That means this is a ground. You click it here. It is showing on the window, and then you click OK and you place this place uh, and then you have to you, you have to place it here another and another you don't want and more and that one to be rotated therefore control r will rotate control r will rotate i am rotating it and then uh, i am i am just dragging it and and placing it to this and uh, to the four terminal number four to the vdc uh, where the minus vcc had to be grounded i grounded it now coming to the resistance uh, resistance uh, connections now you can see r1 R1 to be rotated again. Therefore, I rotate the R1. Control R. I have rotated the R1. Therefore, now R1 uh, slightly bring it in a proper positions and bring it to the proper uh, position it here and 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 then and R2 uh, you can make also to the uh, position it here. Then and you can see also you can see it has to be rotated. It has to be rotated. Therefore, again control R and therefore you place it here and and then you require the wires you require the wires you can see the third one the you can place it here uh, you can see place wires therefore you can click it here and then along with the cursor the positive sign is coming and then you start connections therefore you can see the first you can see the r1 one end of the r1 is connected to three i connect it to the three and then another end of the R1, R2 is connected to the again to 3. I am connecting there. And then you can see the capacitor is connected to the terminal number 2. Capacitor is coming to terminal number 2. And the R is one terminal is connected to the uh, again 2. And the output terminal is the 6. You extend it, extend it, and then and then you connect you, you connect it to the R. And another one is connected to the 2. Another one you connect to the 2. And now you see that there are some grounding is still remaining. I have I have two grounding is remaining. Again, I go to the ground and I bring the ground here, 0 voltage. I can OK. And then uh, one is grounding in here. Another grounding is here. And therefore, I don't want anything. I just right click it and end mode. End mode. Then it is to get the waveforms, I bring uh, to uh, to get the waveform, I bring this uh, this if this is the symbol in the software uh, as in the oscilloscope channel number one and channel number two similar to oscilloscope and therefore here I am clicking one and another for output now uh, this is for output and this is for the input waveforms and then you do not require anything more you just end mode output. Now you can see there is a star. If you place that in the cursor there, you can see that new simulation profile. You click it here, and another window is coming. New simulation. You just give some name. I giving here the name R 
double O one and some name you can give and but avoid of giving the name which is which is conflicting with the libraries files and therefore I after that I create create it after that after that you can just uh, go for a this one they, you can see edit simulation settings and here you just click it here after clicking it here you can see down it has come here it is a 1000 nanosecond is uh, is written here you make it to make it to 20 20 millisecond i'll explain why i'm giving and here you make it 10 millisecond why i'm giving here because here is the starting time. You can this is the runtime. This is the starting time. Starting time in this circuit, the waveform do not get produced uh, immediately at the at the time zero. Therefore, it takes some time. Therefore, starting time I am taking is 10 millisecond, and therefore 10 millisecond to 20 millisecond the waveform generated will see in the output. And you can see therefore because we are creating a one uh, kilohertz frequency. Therefore, time period is one millisecond. Therefore, duration between 10 millisecond and 20 millisecond. Therefore. 10 cycles will be there. That is the reason why I have given a 20 millisecond and 10 millisecond. After that, you just uh, place OK. And then you can see there is a uh, triangular shape, run piece spice. And you can run it. After that, you can see that down, you can see that the waveform already been generated. I, I just, uh, just click it here. You can see the waveform already been shown here. After seeing that, you justify that what we got a 1 kilohertz frequency. You can see that one cycle consists of high, one high and one low. And you can see that one high is almost 2.5, that means two and half. And one low is also almost two and half. Therefore, together they are, they are, they are having five uh, small divisions, five small divisions. You can count it here. It's approximately high and low together is a five small division. And you can see five small, small division is in this down you can see from 18 millisecond to 19 millisecond, there are one uh, one millisecond in that one millisecond, there are uh, five division. Therefore, we can say that our waveform produced is of uh, of time period of one millisecond. Therefore, obviously, reciprocal of one millisecond is one kilohertz. Therefore, what whatever the waveform we should have got, we are getting the same waveform. Another thing I have to mention: this is the green one is the output waveform, and the red one is the capacitor waveform. You can see that when the capacitor is charging, the output is high. When the capacitor is charging, output is low. That is the, that is the waveform, what is to be uh, produced in the output waveform. And we are getting the same waveform as in the hardware, same thing we are getting in the software also. 